It was 1995. A four-year-old Romanian girl, accompanied by her mother, visited her brother's tennis club. And it was here where she fell in love with tennis. It was love at first sight. She later revealed that she liked the ball bouncing on the racket and the voice it made. Though she was playing football with her neighborhood friends and handball at school, she was conquered by tennis. Welcome to the Rich Rabbit. And today we'll be talking about the life journey of Simona Halep. Halep was born on September 27, 1991 in Constanta, Romania, to Stair and Tania Halep, who are of Aromanian descent. She has a brother, Nikolai, who is five and a half years older. Halep's father played lower division football for a small club and worked as a technician before becoming the owner of a dairy products factory. When Halep was four, she started playing tennis after attending one of her brother's training sessions. Although her brother stopped playing the sport after a few years, Halep began practicing twice a week with local coach Ion Stan, until she was six, from which point on she practiced daily. She focused mostly on tennis, but also played football and handball while growing up. When Halep was 16, she moved away from her family to train in Bucharest. She began playing on the ITF Junior Circuit in 2005 at the age of 13 and finished runner-up at a low-level grade 4 tournament in Romania. Halep moved up to higher level events in 2007. She won her first and only grade 1 title at the Perrin Memorial in Umag in April. She also made her junior Grand Slam debut that year, losing in the third round at the French Open, Wimbledon and the US Open. Halep improved her junior Grand Slam performance in 2008, her last year on the junior tour. Halep turned pro in 2006 and started her professional career playing low-level ITF events in Romania in 2006 and 2007. In her first WTA tournament, she reached the quarterfinals at the Andalusia Tennis Experience. She defeated compatriot Sorana Kerstia before losing to Flavia Panetta. This success at small events helped to rise from number 166 to 110 in the first set of rankings in May 2010. Later that month, Halep made her Grand Slam debut at the French Open. She lost her opening round match in straight sets to Samantha Stoser after reaching the main draw through qualifying. For the first time, she defeated a top 10 ranked player in her career when she overcame Li Na of China, ranked number 6 in the first round of 2011 US Open. In May 2013, ranked Korea High 47, Halep had a great tournament at Internazionale BNL d'Italia where she had victory over big names before going down to Serena Williams. In June 2013, she won back-to-back -back tournaments on different surfaces. She won the Nuremberg Cup in Germany on clay and then the Rosmalen Championships in the Netherlands on grass. In November 2013, she recorded her sixth win of the season when she beat Samantha Stoser of Australia in the finals of WTA Tournaments of Champion in Bulgaria. As a result, Halep became the only player to win titles on clay, grass, hard and indoor courts. The same month, she was awarded the WTA's Most Improved Player of the Year for 2013. She was the second most successful player behind Serena Williams in terms of titles. In October 2014, she reached the finals of 2014 WTA Finals only to lose to Serena Williams in straight sets. In March 2015, she registered her biggest career title when she won the BNP Paribas Open, defeating Jelena Jankovic 2-6, 7-5 and 6-4. The win took her to the forefront of year-end qualifying for the WTA Finals at Singapore. The 2016 season started with a number of injury issues. To start with, an Achilles injury prevented her from participating in the Brisbane International. Later, she suffered from nasal problem, resulting in first-round exit from the Australian Open. 
At the US Open, Halep made another Grand Slam quarterfinal, losing to world number one Serena Williams in a tied three-set match. For a second straight year, Halep ended the season by failing to advance out of her round-robin group at the WTA Finals. She finished the 2016 season ranked number four in the world. For the second straight season, Halep had a slow start to the year. She once again lost in the opening round at the Australian Open to Shelby Rogers and did not win multiple matches at an event until the Miami Open in late March. Halep continued to produce strong results in the second half of the season. She made it to the semi-finals at the Canadian Open, losing to Alina Svitolina. However, she fared better at the Cincinnati Open, finishing runner-up to Garbinie Muguruza. But at the US Open, Halep was given a difficult draw in the first round against former champion Maria Sharapova. Sharapova defeated Halep in three sets, ending her streak of reaching the quarterfinals at 10 consecutive events. Nonetheless, Halep rebounded and reached another premier mandatory final at the China Open. She defeated Sharapova during the event but finished runner-up to number 15, Caroline Garcia. Despite the loss, Halep became the world number one for the first time, taking the ranking from Muguruza. She's the first Romanian woman to hold the number one ranking. Unlike in the two previous years, she started on a winning note at the 2018 Australian Open and reached the finals, where she lost to Caroline Wozniacki in three sets. Halep fought back from set breakdown to end her Grand Slam draw in Paris in 2018. She defeated Sloane Stephens in the finals to secure her first major title and in the process became the first Romanian to win major in 40 years. Halep recovered from her back injury in time for the start of the 2019 season. She lost her first match at the Sydney International to the eventual runner-up Ashley Barty. She received a difficult draw at the Australian Open and lost in the fourth round to Serena Williams. With this result, she also lost the number one ranking. For the first time in three years, she didn't make it to the final at the French Open and lost in the quarterfinals. As a result, Halep fell to number eight in the rankings. At Wimbledon, Halep made it to the final as the seventh seed. She did not face a seeded opponent until she defeated number 8 Alina Svitolina in the semi-finals. Halep entered the final against Serena Williams as an underdog, having won just one match against her in 10 meetings. Nonetheless, she won the championship easily in under an hour, losing just two games in each set. She became the first Romanian to win a Wimbledon singles title and rose back to world number 4. Halep started the 2020 WTA Tour at the new tournament in Adelaide, but lost in the quarterfinals to Irina Sabalenka. In August, she won her 21st WTA title at the 2020 Prague Open, where she defeated Elise Mertens in the final. A 22nd title followed in September when she beat an injured Karolina Pliskova in the Italian Open final. At the 2020 French Open, Halep was the heavy favorite. She won her first three matches in straight sets until losing to eventual champion Iga Swiatek in the fourth round. As a result, she missed out on regaining the number one ranking. After missing a fair share of tennis due to injuries, she returned to action in a Grand Slam as she defeated Camila Giorgi in straight sets in the first round of the 2021 US Open. The Romanian was eventually defeated in the quarterfinals by Svitolina. She finished the 2021 season at number 20. Previously, she had finished each year starting with 2014 in top 5. At the Australian Open 2022, she reached the fourth round, but couldn't go any further as she lost in three sets to Elise Cornet. At the French Open, Halep lost in the second round to teenager Chung Chin Wen. Halep's clothing sponsor has been Nike since February 2018. She signed a $1.7 million deal a few weeks after competing at the 2018 Australian Open without a sponsor. 
Halep did not have a sponsor because a deal with Adidas which began in May 2014 ended at the start of the year. Halep uses Wilson rackets, specifically the Blade 98 model. Halep is sponsored by a variety of Romanian brands. She had a three-year deal with Vodafone Romania that began in November 2014. She also appeared in Romanian commercials for Rexona. On September 15, 2021, she married a Romanian businessman, Tony Ayuric. And with that, it's time for us to call it a day. But we sure hope that you liked the video and found it informative. And if you did, then don't forget to subscribe to The Rich Rabbit and click the bell icon. Your valuable suggestions are very important to us, so do post them in the comment section. And I'll see you in the next video.